would seem the pieces are assembling around the Tower of Hope. The details are yet sparse, but it is clear what must be done with this yarn. We must cut it short, old and threadbare as it is. We shall place our hope in a new tale. Such is the way of things. Stories lose their impact with each retelling. They fail to stir the fires of hope as they once did. And their actors must be retired. In bringing the tale of the Warrior of Light to an end, they also outlived their usefulness. And so, the curtain must fall. We have no more need of heroes and their foolish drama. Our journey to the Tower of Hope continues. Sarah sets the pace, and I follow suit. Not a bad change. Our guide, on the other hand, I'm less happy with. We spent more time lost than we have on track. I can't tell if she's doing it on purpose, or if she's just bad at her job. Doesn't matter. Good intentions or not, I just can't trust her. So imagine my surprise when she told us what she found. Not far from where we were was a village divided. One half oppressed the other, and things had turned violent. Maya offered to go ahead and scout the situation. I hope this doesn't end up like Omega. I hope more don't die because I was too slow to act. No time to doubt. So for now, our journey is on hold. We'll follow Maya and find out what she knows about this conflict. Tatalade Village is waiting. Will Maya be okay by herself? We don't have anything to worry about. She's smart enough to know if she's in over her head. She'll wait. Still, we shouldn't dawdle. Yes, of course. I trust we won't have any more unexpected delays. I, uh... Well, you see... Don't you dare say you don't know the way. Not this time. Uh, well, one of the Echoes knows the way, just... Not this one. The Echo who knows where the village is went with Maya. She needed a guide too, after all. Let me guess. You didn't think to ask for directions. I... I'm sorry. It just slipped my mind. Regardless, we should move. We know which direction she went. If we move fast, we might catch up or meet someone who can help. <laughs> good, good idea, Sarah. Time is of the essence now more than ever. Now, if I remember correctly, she went this way. Yeah, right about this way. You better not mess this up again. Of course not. Help! Someone help me! Oh. Wait, that's... I can't... Go on! Oh. Leave this to us. Thanks for that, Po. Po? And you are? Oh, I'm Magum. Just a humble Magul, Po. Did I hear that right? What brings you out here? Are you lost? A fairy tricked me good, Po. She said someone special was waiting for me. I followed her, but then she went poof and vanished. A fairy? Huh. Friend of yours, Eko? To be honest, I'm not sure. Judging by the story, it could be anyone. I just... I just want to go home, Paul. Then let us be the ones to guide you. If that's all right. Uh, well, I, I thought we had more pressing matters to attend to. We do, but we're still lost. Someone in this little one's home may point us the right way. Besides, we can't just leave him here. Uh, okay... I didn't know you had such a soft spot for fluffy things. Just doing what's right. Okay, Magu. Which way is your village? Hmm, maybe this way, Paul? Maybe that's 
it's not promising. You're one to talk. Anyway, as long as my saviors are here, we'll make it to the Muggle Village in no time, Pope. I guess it was Muggle. call themselves Moggles and not Moogles. It all goes back to the Dark Flood. They remembered the name Moogle, but not much else. They lost the source of their strength. Without their shared memories, they no longer had their old identity, and so they settled on a different name. Another lovely consequence of my actions. Hey, so... What? You're being awfully nice to Magoon. Uh, any particular reason? What are Moogles or Moggles to you? Like you don't know. Stop playing coy. I'm not. It's not like I know everything about you. I wonder, just how much is Eco hiding? I would ask, but circumstances aren't exactly great. And frankly, it's better that way. She doesn't need to remember. She wouldn't take it well. She'd place blame on her own shoulders. Blame herself for the dark flood. Are you doing all right? Of course, Pope. Why not Kapo? That's an easy one. Because we're not moguls. It's a choice we came to as a village. You all decided to do the same thing? That's overdoing it if you ask me. And how are you any different? Speaking of which... Are you sure you don't know the Echo that tricked this... Moggle? You never met her at one of your Echo mixers? I mean, maybe I have, but it's not like I remember every fairy I meet. I've been meaning to ask, what exactly did this fairy tell you to lure you out here? Well, she said I'd meet someone very important to me. How could I resist something like that, Bolt? I was so excited. I thought, maybe I'd finally meet my master, Bolt. But I thought you forgot everything about the past. I might have forgotten their face, but I can never forget our bond. I see. Glad you do, Bolt. But now, I'm not worried about that. I have a feeling that soon I'll have a new master. I wonder who that might be, Bolt. You'd fit right in at the village. Yes, you would. We made it. I knew my saviors would never leave me astray, Poe. Our whole village is in your debt, Poe. We should throw a celebration for them, Poe. Yes, yes. Stay for as long as you like. C I mean, Poe. <laughs> we'll have to take you up on that some other time. We're in a hurry. And maybe you can help. Do you know Tattelade Village? We'll draw a map for you, Po. Thank you. I do wish we didn't have to leave so soon. Perhaps next time. We'll be waiting, Po. Come back soon. We will. You know where to find me, Master. That was fun. Yeah, sure. They were so happy, so full of joy and gratitude. I... I think it was a wise choice to help them. Not only for the Moggles, but for you as well. I don't know. I don't want to remember. But I'll never forget. I don't want them getting mixed up in this. It's better if they forget us. To think our undying cynic would have such a weakness for those floating balls of fur. Nevertheless, our plan worked perfectly. 
His little detour bought us all the time we needed. Now, to proceed with the next step. Ah, there you are. Well, he fell for it. I trust matters at Tadelaide are proceeding apace. Has the populace been sufficiently incensed? Matters have become complicated. Our tragic finale may have to wait until another time. Is that so? Has Maya proven less pliant than we expected? No, the complication stems from the tower. An unexpected actor has begun to warp the tale with her actions. The light of hope shines again, quite surprisingly. Impossible. There were no signs this would occur. Even if the world itself is at stake, you shouldn't throw away your lives. Death should never be what you hope for. We all have something greater ahead of us. Something to look forward to. Our homes are waiting. And now, the Returners make their name! Do you know what all that's about? No, I've never heard the name before. In fact, everything in that vision was new. Something was different about the tower, too. What was that light? Hey, wait. Where has Eko gone to? She was just here a moment ago. Doesn't matter. We know where to go. If she wants to find us, she will. Did you two see the rune's vision already? Yes, it began to glow on its own, so we looked. We should be the ones asking questions. Where have you been? It's not a good time to disappear. I'm sorry. I was called by the other Echoes for an urgent meeting. The contents of which I'm supposed to share with you now. Although you may have already figured out what it is. Something's happened at the Tower of Hope. Something big. So big, in fact, that we have to head there at once! No delays! It's a good thing I have connections. The other Echoes have cleared the way. Should be a straight shot to the tower. Now, let's go, go, go before the fiends start closing in. Hold on. We never agreed to this. We need details. What's this big happening at the tower? And why are you so desperate to get us there? Well, you see, if I explained everything, it'd take too long. Just what are you and all the other Echoes thinking? You know, I smell a classic fairy scheme. I've seen that light before. It's the light of hope, isn't it? Quite a detail to leave out. I, uh, that light... Well, you see, it's... I, uh, don't know. Sorry for being useless. Ah, I have a wonderful idea. I'll just go back to the other Echoes and get these niggling doubts all cleared up for us. We here, and I'll bring the answers right to you. Eko, we appreciate your concern, but we can't afford to wait. We have to leave here, now. Oh, but of course! Off to the Tower of Hope! We aren't going to the Tower. We are going to Tatalade Village. I... what? We can't leave Maya to fend for herself, and we can't leave the villagers to suffer as they are. We must help how we can. But... I have to go to the tower! If I don't, they're gonna tan my hide! That sounds like a problem between you and yours. Let us know how it goes. Besides, no one's stopping you from going to the tower. Alone. We have a map, so your services are no longer needed. Sorry to let you go. Well, wait! Brother, let us hurry. Right. Useless. She had one task to accomplish. One. We should never have trusted one so inexperienced. Her inexperience was exactly why I thought she would be perfect for the role. 
Our target has a history of teasing out even the most well-hidden secrets. His nagging questions and relentless suspicion make even the simplest deception trying. So, a fairy that would be unable to answer his interrogation seemed to me the safest course. I suppose I misjudged. What is done is done. For now, we must find a way to divert his attention. That map of theirs severely limits our options, however. Those Moogles... Another failed trick. It may be time to resort to more direct methods. Perhaps force will succeed where Guile has failed. There's a lot of fiends around here. It's almost like they knew we were coming. Yes, it's as if they don't want us to reach the village. See, this path is way too dangerous. We should definitely turn back. You... What a surprise. Why would you be surprised? I'm your guide, after all. Now, let me lead you to safety. Lead us to the tower, you mean. That's what the other Echoes want, right? So much so, that they summon these fiends to stop us. Are you... Are you suggesting this is the Echoes doing? Why would they put us at risk? I don't know. Let's ask our guide. If we followed you, would you send the fiends away? I would if I could, but I can't. A guide's sacred duty is to keep their churches safe. I would never hinder our journey. Besides, if I had the power to control fiends, wouldn't I just use that to make you go to the tower? You can't talk your way out of this. I believe her. However, that doesn't mean we're going to turn back now. And as our guide, I ask you to keep us safe. Safe? Of course, I can do that! Huh. It would seem they have broken through our little obstruction. We must not let them proceed further. On the contrary, perhaps we should let them go. Any further attempts to stop them would be wasted effort. And what about the recent developments at the tower? We let them run their course. The others will reach the tower in due time. They may resist us, but they cannot resist the tail's allure, if you insist. Wow! You really carved through those fiends like butter! No one told me you guys were this strong! You helped us fight as well. She helped by giving us something to fight. Make them fiercer next time. What? I... I told you! I can't even do that! She might not be lying. She has genuine fear in her eyes sometimes. Someone else must be pulling the strings, or she's an acting prodigy. Hmm. What happened to all the fiends? Did their master lose interest? Perhaps. Perhaps it was a different Echo, or Echoes, that were controlling them this whole time. Come to think of it, I had to cut through a horde of them on the way back to Omega. Made me late. Was it just some fairies behind the curtains? I already told you. They don't tell me anything. Please, you have to believe me. I don't know about that. <laughs> Never trust a fairy. Still, that doesn't mean they can't be useful sometimes. So, you believe me? Or... What do you think? It's okay. He's giving you a chance. But he's not saying he believes everything you say. Just don't do anything suspicious. I won't. I don't even know how. I'll show you how useful I can be. Just wait. I'm looking forward to it, Eko. We should be off. Maya is waiting. We had heard that the villagers of Tatalade were fighting amongst each other. Their beliefs were at war. But the villagers were kind. They helped us. How badly could they possibly treat each other? I couldn't imagine they'd turn to violence. To killing. I was wrong. I should have known better. Yeah, great.
waves, fresh ones, by the looks of things. Damn it. Why did I think I could help? I couldn't stop anything again. Brother, you... You don't know yet. There still may be people to help. There still may be people who need saving, who need you. There is work for us to do. Sarah, I... You're right. We need to ask around. Maya must know something. Let's find her. State your business. This village belongs to the Collective, and outsiders are forbidden from entering. Are those graves back there your doing? How many innocents have you killed in the name of your beliefs? They met the fate they deserved. The fate that all who defy the Collective shall meet. You threaten the lives of others over mere beliefs. Who would be twisted enough to follow you? They follow us because they value the greater good. Not even children will be allowed to sully our ideals. What ideals? I know what it's like to truly work for the greater good. My friends, they thought only of what they could do for others. How everyone could be better. They would call you tyrants. Another group of miscreants that must be taught manners. Just kill me! Does your life mean nothing? Those who cannot fulfill their duty must die! It is our way! Don't be stupid. If you want to die, do it yourself. Do not think this is the end of us. Our witch will put you in your place! A witch? Maya, the Azure Witch. She fights for the Collective! Impossible! How could she... She awaits in the plaza! What is she? We have to go. I found Mia! A bunch of people are gathering in the plaza up ahead! Did... did anything seem strange? Mm, she seemed as cold as ever. But to be honest, I don't know her as well as you do, so it's hard to say. Well, that's not much to go on. It's all part of my new policy! If I don't know something, I'm gonna say I don't know! Better than faking it. I appreciate the honesty. It's not something I'm used to. Besides, the faster we get done here, the faster we can head to the Tower of Hope. Always an ulterior motive, huh? Well, I guess it's good you told us beforehand. I live to serve, no matter what the other Echoes want. That's a promise. Just you watch. I guess that's progress. It would seem my understanding of your beliefs was a flawed one. I was told that you forced your way of life on others, stifled their freedom. However, I now see that people need such structure, need to be told how to live their lives. When one knows the role they are meant to fill, they are given hope. And when one has hope, they will gladly give their lives to defend it, to defend the Collective. Exactly! We live for our roles, or we die to fulfill them! The Collective will bring enlightenment to the people! Lie to us all! Lie to us all! I'm not sure I agree. You are prepared to die for your beliefs, to fulfill your duties. Such conviction is admirable. However, that strength is wasted if you're dead. You should use it to make a better life. <laughs> life 
is a journey of pain and suffering. A constant struggle between right and wrong. The shadow of doubt lingering always over your every deed. You would ask us to endure that? I... well... to die in certainty than to live in doubt. That is the path we should walk. Do you not agree? Not the lack of it all. The noblest life is given in service. We fear no sacrifice. Forty-two collective! Now do you see the true nature of these people? They are fools. Not a single thought in their heads they own. They will kill in a win. And die in a win. Fools are. What? What manner of trickery is this? Perhaps I can educate you on the true price of ignorance. What? What are you doing there? <laughs> Let us give them what they so desire. A death worthy of their grandiose beliefs. A death worthy of fools. You lived as a collective, now die as one. Maya, stop! Let's get out of here. Okay. Maya's gone. We should find her. Yes, and we have to help them. Them? Everyone, including Maya. That wasn't her back there. I'm certain of it. And the villagers, even the members of the Collective. Something has a hold on them. They aren't thinking for themselves. Because they can't. Still, that doesn't excuse what they did. It doesn't excuse this slaughter. Uh... What? You know back there, when Maya started acting weird, I felt something. It felt like another echo. Another one? Do you think that's what's behind this? Our fairies watching us? What'd they do to Maya and the others? I... I don't know about all that. Can all echoes control the minds of humans? Not all. Not me especially. But I've heard of some that can you sure it's safe to give away fairy secrets? I don't care about that. I may be an Echo, but I'm still myself. And I'm choosing to help Sarah, no matter what. Good. And you can help us find Maya, too. <laughs> Gladly! You stand no chance. Accept it. Admit your folly, and I may offer you mercy. Even supper. I fought in the name of the Collective. I did what was just. I have no need of your mercy. Ah, oh, I see. Then you shall have none. Maya, don't do it! Come no further. This is what he wants, after all. I am not afraid. I live by the sword and I shall die by it. Such an end as only defeats my role. Listen to that. Let the fool choose. I shall give him the death he so desires. The only fool here is you. No one desires death, no matter what they've been made to do. And no one has the right to take a life. What have I? <laughs> Maya, what is that light? It's them. Sir, have you forgotten who I am? No one, not even you, can hope to deny me. Glory! Glory to the collective! <sighs> You disappoint me. But if you want to fight, you got it. Are you ready? 
<laughs> I haven't forgotten who you are, so I won't pull any punches. Remember, this is nothing personal. Exactly yourself. There was nothing you could have done. No, Sarah. There was. My hand may have been forced, but the intention was mine, and the blame is mine as well. The hatred I felt for them was real, as was my desire to end their lives. But why would you... In the fervor of the collective, I saw a reflection of myself. They latched on to the first thing that gave them comfort, gave them guidance. They were weak, just as I was. I could not bear it, so I chose to bury them. But really, you wish to bury yourself. I see more than you realize. Of course, I see the confident teacher, so secure in her abilities and purpose. But I also see the fragility just underneath. You don't always have to act so brave. Aren't you tired? I... Sarah... It's okay. I understand. You don't have to ask for my help. But you'll have it, now and always. Sometimes, our words fail us, but our friends never will. Thank you. Hmm. Can you... can you forgive my actions? at this exchange, at Sarah's naivete. Now I only have respect. Even without her memories, Sarah's nobility is unmistakable. It makes me wonder what the fairies are really after in all this. If we go to the tower, are we just playing into their hands, helping their story along? So be it. Huh? If they're setting a trap, I'll bite. Wouldn't want to be boring prey. And then I'll end the tale with these hands. Well then, lead the way. Bring us to this tower. Yes! With pleasure! <laughs> 